Going on guys, Jack here and I'm back for episode 79 on my West Ham United career mode. We are on to a trip to Villa Park here to take on Aston Villa in the hunt for three points to look to cement ourselves even further at the top of that Barclays Premier League table because obviously we want to win it this season and we don't want to be in contention right down to the last day of the season because simply it's just too much for the nerves to handle. But we do get ready for a game here against Aston Villa at Villa Park like I did say. It's going to be an interesting game. West Ham are in really good form lately and I'm a little bit confident going into this one. But if you are new around here guys, Guys, first things first, make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you are new around here. I'd really enjoy it if you could subscribe to my channel and never miss a Cremo video ever again. And also, if you are enjoying the content and you like seeing Cremo videos, then why not hit that like button too? It only takes a couple seconds out of your day, guys, and I'd really appreciate it. But the first attack will come from Aston Villa in the second minute is Carrillo will find Delphi fires into Westwood. And I don't know what the hell... Kasper Schmeichel was doing there, but Westwood would find the back of net just two and a half minutes into the game. Aston Villa lead at Villa Park, and we've already made this game an absolute man into climb now. Because Aston Villa, we know defensively are hard to break down. They've got a very physical back climb, but oh my word, it went through so many bodies. I think Schmeichel saw it a little bit too late there, and Ashley Westwood does get his second goal in the Barclays Premier League this season. Absolutely disappointing start from West Ham, and it will look to continue, but Schneiderlin will get onto the ball and cut out. See that James Wilson has held his run really well here. The Englishman is onside, gets his shot away, but Brad Guzan would make a really good save there. There to deny us scoring. 1 0 still into the game, and Aston Villa coming for another attack here. Sanchez crossed the ball in to try and find Westwood. It would get crossed away only to find Fabian Delft. Delft takes the ball down to his stride, and what a strike that is from the England centre midfielder to make it 2 0 double Villa's lead. And we are in real trouble now, guys. What the hell has happened here? He just takes the ball down. No one come close to shutting him down. I don't get what Schmeichel was doing there. It really is frustrating. But Fabian Delft gets a whopping eight goals so far this season from the centre midfield position. That is incredible for him. And he's looking to have a great season. But West Ham now, knowing that their backs are against the wall, we have to go a little bit attacking us. But Hooli lines up a shot from range. Guzan always had that covered. As you can see, though, Delft will get onto the ball again. The goal scorer will find Sanchez. Sanchez does brilliantly to find it back into Fabian Delft. Cross into the back post to find, I believe that was Agbong Lahore. And he does head it over the post here um, on that occasion. The Sanchez gets onto the ball yet again. Great bit of play from him as he does find Fabian Delft. Delft plays it into the path of Westwood and misses an absolute sitter yet again. Aston Villa arguably could be 3 0 up here. But Gonzalez lines up a free kick from range here, takes it. Denied by the crossbar. Sanchez clears it away. Wilson tries to head it back in, but it is cleared away by Fabian Delft. West Ham is getting very frustrating now. As Bahuli gets onto the ball, looks to make something work for the club. He's definitely been my man of the match for West Ham so far. And again, he gets another shot denied by Brad Guzan yet again. Bahuli seems like the only one trying to create something. But as you can see, Gonzalez does win the ball back here for the Hammers. We look to go on the attack again. Finds Bahuli beautifully with a great chip ball. Bahuli skips past one, skips past two, gets a shot away. But Guzan again makes the great save. But again, West Ham coming to attack again, starting to assert a bit of dominance now into this game. Vieto does get taken right out of here by Lodzen. Referee points to the spot. West Ham win the penalty, and this is an open door back into this game if we can slot this away. It's Luciano Vieto versus Brad Guzan. Who's going to come out on top? Here comes Vieto, steps up. Where's he going? He goes to the right. What a save from Brad Guzan, and Aston Villa do get the ball away. On that note, we do bring Valencia and Fakir on. Um... Disappointing, but we have to. And Noble comes on also to add a bit of depth to the squad. As, Mark, um, as uh, Baker gets onto the ball, he would find Loughton. Um, West Ham, poor clearance away. Moore can't get rid of it. Falls to Loughton again, who gave away the penalty. Into Sanchez, back into Loughton. 3 0 to Aston Villa. We are being absolutely destroyed and stunned at Villa Park. No one would have ever expected this result at the start of the day. West Ham were probably the hot favourites going into this one. And now uh, it looks like. We are going to have a miserable loss on our hands. First goal in the league for Lowton. Very well played from him. As Fakir gets onto the ball now, he would find Bellerin. Bellerin cuts inside. Who's had a very quiet game. Plays it into the path of Vieto. Vieto shoots. Great save from Guzan, who's been definitely the difference in this game. But Vieto lines up a free kick now from range. He does play into Fakir, who turns his man beautifully here. Here comes Fakir. The shirt tug was seen by the referee. He goes down in the box. He points to the spot. West Ham win yet another penalty. And Mark Noble's going to step up for this one to see if he can put this into the back of the net. And hopefully see... If we can get a consolation goal in this game because this is basically going to be the last kick of the game here. Can Mark Noble will get the goal against Brad Guzan? It's been in great form. He can. 3 1 to the Hammers, um, to the Aston Villa, should I say. West Ham get their consolation goal, but it doesn't mean anything really going forward into this game. It's too little, too late. Uh, if we would have put the penalty away, uh, first time of asking, obviously with Luciano Vieto's effort. Maybe it could have been a different game, but unfortunately the game does finish at 3-1. Mark Noble does get his second goal of the season, and Aston Villa get a massive three points against West Ham. And you can't argue it was well-deserved. They took their chances, and they dominated, really. So it's disappointing, but we just have to make sure we bounce straight back against our next game against Swansea. But 
very well played there from Aston Villa. They had a lot of possession. We had more shots than them. Like I said, we tested Guzan very well here, but he just come out on top and deserves that man of the match award. As you can see here, two shots caught, six parried. I only can see one goal from the penalty spot. So he was in fantastic form for uh, Aston Villa today. So very well played from him. But who do you thanks us for getting a lot of minutes out there? So he's happy about that. And I'm happy to play him because he does make a difference when he comes on. He's like him and Fakir. Like, you look at him, you see they're the same kind of player, but they play so differently. So it's good to see that they're both a breath of fresh air. Danny Welbeck is only out for two weeks now, so we could be seeing his return very soon as the transfer window obviously is open now. As you, uh, well, actually opening at the end of this episode, should I say. As you can see, Swansea will get ready for their game now. Neil Mapake on the bench, along with the likes of Wilson. Uh, Wilson starting, sorry. Valencia, Fakir, Gonzalez, Bazo, Amati, Shah, Tompkins, Fabino, Bertrand, Perrin. It's a weakened side, but I decided to drop some of the names that did not perform in that Aston Villa game and giving some other people a chance to obviously prove their names here in the Swansea game as we look to turn around our fortunes and hopefully not suffer another shock defeat at the hands of a mid-table club. As you can see here, Swansea are down in 10th position. Aston Villa all the way up in 5th with a real chance of European football if they can continue their great form. So very well done to them. As you can see here, Swansea start with the likes of Sigurdsson, Raphael, uh, Ratlish, Dyer, always, always dangerous players. The defence ain't all that, but they've got the likes of uh, Gomez on the bench along with Mitch who also has obviously come back to the club um, from his lengthy time away. As Fabinho wins the ball though, West Ham look to get on the attack. 15 minutes into the game it would be Fabinho who does beautifully here to get past his man. He crosses it all the way into box to find Valencia with the header. No chance for the goalkeeper who's rooted to the spot. And N.A. Valencia does open up the scoring here. 16 minutes into the game at Upton Park. It's West Ham United 1, Swansea nil, And it is a spectacle of a header there from N.A. Valencia. What he's quite kind of known for, you know, he's known for having great jumping, but look at this from Fabinho, a great ball in, it was perfect for him, no chance of anyone getting to him there, and you know, when he gets in that position, it's very unlikely he's going to miss, what a header that is from N.A. Valencia, West Ham United get their first goal of the game, and it's his 12th in the season for N.A. Valencia, he's absolutely killing it so far, as Gonzalez gets on the ball, he gives it away to Cork, who would find Rafael, turns and shoots, and the referee does give the penalty against Gonzalez there, um, you have to look back at that, I think... It's 50-50, it could have gone either way, but Sigurdsson steps up to get Swansea right back into the game here. With Perrin save it, it's denied off the crossbar there, and it is cleared away eventually by James Tompkins. West Ham let off there with a lifeline. As Bertrand gets onto the ball now, what can he do? Gets away from his man beautifully there and plays it through the gap to find Gonzalez. Gonzalez does see Fabinho in range here. Fabinho takes it outside, takes it inside, takes the shot, plays it into Valencia. 2-0 to the Hammers. What play there? Fantastic play, and Fabinho really... Two assists already this game. What a player. He really is. He's playing so well today. Look at that ball across goal. No chance for anyone. And West Ham United do get their second of the game. And it is again from Fabino and Enel Valencia linking up. The partnership is strong between these two. And Fabino is looking like he's one of the best right backs in the league at the moment. He's playing so well. After his first season, he looked a bit iffy. But this season, he really has made himself one of the first names on the team sheet. He's been a great right back for us. As Sigurdsson's shot does go wayward there. That'll be the end of the half. West Ham will start the second half on the attack though with Enel Valencia. What can he do onto the ball? Does beautifully as he gets past his man here. Still onto the ball and Valencia shoots. And it's an absolute mishap at the back, it does find a way into the Swansea net and it is courtesy of Enel Valencia but it does go down as a Fernandez own goal, as he tried getting off the line he did play it back into his own net there and it is no choice but the referee to put that as an own goal there very unlucky for Swansea but the game is now at 3-0 as Wilson gets onto the ball does beautifully to unleash Enel Valencia yet again who cuts inside, it's Enel Valencia, great save from the goalkeeper this time of asking, he's looked very shaky um, uh, in this whole game really as Bazoa would find Shah who gets taken out there, not a penalty, and Mike gets his shot away to flex over the bar there, nothing happening as we do bring on the likes of Nilma Pay, Bahuli and Mark Noble, with just 20 minutes left to go in this game we've got this one wrapped up, hopefully now we can continue our great form, as uh, Nilma Pay gets onto the ball now, what can he do in the 89th minute Beautiful bit of play there for him to get past his man. Nil Mapay, what a save that is, and it does get cleared away. That'd be how the game finishes, though. West Ham United walk out of here, the 3 0 winners against Swansea, and that is a way to rebound yourself back from a 3 1 defeat at Villa Park. Obviously, we're not going to forget in a hurry, and it's going to stick in our minds. It's probably our biggest defeat of the season so far, but we are confident and we will keep marching on. 3-0 the final result here, absolutely dominated Swansea today, and we showed why we are the team to beat still in the Barclays Premier League. As you can see, Fabinho picks up man match from an 8.8 .8 rating, two assists on the day for him. Like I said, he had an incredible game, and he is well deserving of that man of the match award. 
transfer market is officially open now guys as you can see and that means that we are coming to the end of this episode so the transfer market is open next episode so make sure you're tuning in for that one if you did enjoy the episode guys make sure to smash that like button if you are enjoying the episode i really would appreciate it leave you guys looking at the squad report and also if you are new around here then why not hit that subscribe button too guys it is free and you will never ever miss a Kumo video from me ever again as always, I hope you all enjoyed the episode. All the players are growing very nicely here. Feel free to look at the squad report and pause on the players you want to see and how far they have grown. And as always, I hope you all have a really nice day. I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.